have been focusing in on how Baltimore police are increasing patrols near Digital Harbor High School after recent vandalism and violence in the area. In Focus reporter Catherine Hawley has more tonight on the teenage suspects. Groups of teenagers are causing trouble in Federal Hill. Neighbors say the juveniles get into fights, vandalize and kick cars, and violently attack people. Last Tuesday, a 15-year-old chucked an umbrella at a woman's face. Hit her directly in the eye, causing pretty severe damage. This neighbor didn't feel comfortable being identified. He tells ABC2 News the area is being terrorized by the youths. I can't stress enough. Parents need to look at these videos, and if they see their child, they need to talk to their child about you know, maybe going another way. Between last Thursday and Sunday, Baltimore police say there were three incidents of carjackings and muggings at knife point by bands of teens. In every case, the robberies happened in the afternoon after the victims parked their cars in the Digital Harbor High School parking lot. The delinquents got away with wallets, phones, and two cars, something that almost happened to Sam Schumann. Two kids, probably like 15, 16 years old, asked if I knew what time it was, and I initially went to go get my phone, but uh, I had kind of decided that it was they were up to something. His hunch was right. He tells us the duo split up and followed him. At one point, even started running at him. I got really lucky. I think if it was my girlfriend or anyone else, it would have been a different scenario. According to officers, a lot of the time, the juveniles committing these crimes have a pack mentality. Investigators tell ABC2 News they're stepping up patrols in the area, particularly between 4 and 7 p.m. until further notice. Baltimore police say if you see any suspicious groups of juveniles, do not confront them. Just call 911. Reporting in Federal Hill, Catherine Hawley, ABC2 News. Now, earlier this week, Catherine spoke to students at Digital Harbor, and they told her the relationship between the community and teens isn't the best, saying that they feel pushed away and seen as a problem. When you feel excluded, that's how the teens feel like, well, I'm going to lash out and I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that because I'm already not welcome here. Might as well give them a reason to be upset. Now, Higgins is a peace ambassador with the Inner Harbor Project, and one of the things she does is she walks around after school to promote a more positive interaction between the neighborhood and the students. And the effort expanded to Federal Hill last school year, but had to stop due to funding issues. Organizers know there won't be a quick fix, but say talking to the students could help everybody see eye to eye.